Hello everyone, my name is Sean Galloway with Proact Safety. Welcome to another video of Safety Culture Excellence. As you know, we're producing weekly topics at the www.safetycultureexcellence.com site. That's where you can find all of our weekly podcasts, and we're also putting forth a lot of videos as well. Hopefully, you'll find some value in these, some that you can share for free within your organization. So I'd like to tell you a little story today and a topic that I'd like to call Standing Side by Side, a Tale of an Effective Leader. So I'm in Indiana right now, and as you can probably tell, I'm in a hotel room where I spend a lot of time. So I'm performing a safety culture assessment at an organization that's doing really well in safety, but they're having a couple of accidents still, and they just can't get their arms around some of those issues. So we're looking at the culture to try to understand why are some groups going for years doing the same type of tasks and going injury-free, incident-free, and why are some organizations within the same company uh, some departments, some divisions, having some of these accidents. So we're looking at support for safety as one of the elements here. What are the things that people do that really demonstrate support for safety? And we, when we think about caring about safety and having support for safety, it has to be more than just a fuzzy feeling you have in your heart. Sometimes we call this the safety pledge of allegiance. Uh, it's kind of an American joke here, but you know we put our hand on our heart and say, I support safety. Bull. Support for safety has to be a lot more than that. It has to be the actions, what you say, what you, what you actually do. Ralph Waldo, excuse me, Ralph Waldo Emerson once said that what you do speaks so loudly I can't hear what you say. Think about it. It's behavioral integrity. So what are you doing to demonstrate support? So we're having an interview with one of the top leaders of this organization that his department is exceptional in safety. The people have gone multiple years without having an accident. So I asked him specifically, what are you doing to increase safety, to demonstrate the support for safety, and to ensure that the values that you'd like to have are reinforced throughout the organization? Interestingly, his response to me was, well, I really know my people. I think that's what makes me unique. So I started probing about that, and this is interesting. I've seen this in a lot of organizations. Let me ask you to try something out real quickly. Take a piece of paper, press pause if you don't have anything to write with or to write on, but take a piece of paper, and I want you to, on one side, write down the names of the people that work for you. Now, if you're not in a supervisory role, write down the names of the people that you work closely with, or maybe even the people that you work for, but write down those names. Now, next to those names, I'd like for you to write down the people who you think are most important to those folks. What if they're married? Write down their spouse's names. Now, if you want to go a little bit further, write down next to that their children's names. Here's an idea that several leadership gurus have put out there, and I think it's an excellent one. If you don't know the names, the children's names, the spouse's names of the people that you work closely with, you're not really effectively leading people. Because I think to be an effective leader, you have to pay attention to relationships. And if you don't know the names of the people that are most important to the people that you work with, that work for you, you're not really leading as effectively as you could be leading. So consider this. Try to spend some time really getting to know your people. People will, to use a term, go to bat for somebody. They will do whatever possible. They will buy into the ideas and safety and the values that we want people to really have instilled in their own hearts if they really feel as though the individuals are looking out for them and really care for them. Caring is more than just something that's in your heart. Caring is something that other people see in your actions and in your words. So I encourage you, take some time to really get to know your people. Get to know who they are, what their interests are, what they're passionate about. Most people, and there's only some exceptions, but to most people, the thing that they're most passionate about are their family members. And if you're not spending time talking to people about the things that they care about the most? Are you really getting to know your people? Are you really developing the relationships that are critical to have a culture that focuses on excellence? So thank you so much for spending some time with me. I, I know you have a lot, of, a lot of things that you're probably focusing on in your organization. So thank you for taking some time out to hear this message. And I hope you'll spend some time really getting to know your people. 
After all, what could it hurt? Remember, in safety, prevention trumps reaction. Thank you for spending some time with us on this video. Have a great week, and thank you for helping us improve safety.